This video's intention is to explain why we use the absolute values when we evaluate an even index. And you have variables in your radicand. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Let's just go on a straight evaluation trip. Um, if I was to look at this, I have the square root of, what is minus four squared? It's 16. Okay, and then that turns out to be four. Sure, when we evaluate that thing. Um, when I have something squared under the square root, it's going to make things positive. And one definition that follows with that is um, the absolute value of x. The absolute value of x can be defined as the square root of something squared. It can even go further than that. Um, you can also define this absolute value to be um, the nth root of something to the n power provided n is even. Okay, sure. But you're like, um, what if n is odd? If n is odd, it's just going to be the radicand because, um, yeah, we're not going to have this phenomenon where you square it, makes it positive, then you take the square root of it, and it's going to give you the absolute value of what's ever on the inside. Now taking this on up here, what we can see is we have something squared, and then we're taking the square root of it. All right. Uh, yeah. So then that's going to return absolute value of x minus 2. Why? Because like over here in this example, when I square it, it's going to take whatever's on the inside and make it positive because they're going to have the same sign. It's either going to be minus times minus or plus times plus. Now, when we include all the numbers, I mean having a variable part, then we have to um, conclude that your evaluation is going to net you a positive expression. And you're done. I don't know. Want to see some flowers? There's one. And there's one. Yeah.